welcome students uh, we have been doing problems on averages now we solve the question number 7 uh, the, the question is six persons went to a hotel for taking their meals five of them spent rupees 32 each on their meals while the sixth person spent rupees 80 more than the average expenditure of all the six what was the total money spent by all the persons now we are given five options we have to choose the right one now before uh, to find the solution for this problem what are we given six persons went to a hotel for taking their meals of the six persons we are given information about the five first five persons who, uh, that each of them have spent 32 each uh, 32 rupees for their meal so the total amount of money spent by five persons is 5 times 32 which is 160 so we have found out the total amount of money spent by first five persons and we do not know what is the average of all the six persons so as we do not know that let us keep that to be x x be the average expenditure of all the six persons now what is the amount of money spent by the sixth person sixth person which is 80 more than the average so uh, you look at the 80 plus x this is the amount spent by the sixth person because 80 more than the average where x is the average so what is the total amount spent by all the six persons 160 is the amount spent by spent by the first five persons and 80 plus x is the amount spent by the sixth person which is 80 more than the average where x is the average we have marked so this is the total amount spent by the all the six persons divided by the total number of persons which is six and it is given to be x x is the average of all the six persons spent Uh, their money for food now so we are given x as the average now what do we do 160 plus 80 is 240 plus x when you cross multiply you cross multiply 6 with x so what you will get 240 plus x is equal to 6 times x okay now you take x to the other side so that it becomes what minus x therefore 6x minus x is 5x and it is equal to 240 so x is equal to 48 is the uh, answer But forty eight is the answer. But what are we asked for? We are asked for what was the total money spent by all the persons. So total money spent by all the persons is nothing but six times forty eight because x is the uh, x is equal to forty eight is the average money spent by the six persons. So to get the total six times forty eight, you will get two forty two eighty eight. Or the total money is five persons have spent one sixty and the sixth person has spent eighty plus forty eight. 80 more than the average so average is 48 so when you add up that also gives 288 and when you go to the options you see that uh, when you go to the options you see that uh, 288 so option d is the correct answer so you see that option d is the correct answer okay now we move on to do the problem number 8 uh, now we now we try to solve the problem number 8 so problem on age is question number 8 The average age of a man and his son is 40, 40 years. Uh, the ratio of their ages is 11 is to 5 respectively. What is the son's age? So we are given uh, the uh, average of uh, a man and his son's age to be 40 years. Okay, and uh, we are also given the age, uh, their ages, ratio of their ages, 11 is to 5. So their ages are in the ratio son to uh, father to son ratio is 11 is to 5. now we are given four options we have to choose the correct one now how do we proceed man's age is uh, what is the man's age is 11 times x is the age of the man and 5 times x is the son age of the son whenever we are given ratio we take the ages to be 11 times x and 5 times x or you can take any variable and you multiply that with 11 and 5 to get the present ages of the man and the son and we are also given one more point is also given and the average of the man and son ch is 40 years so 11x plus 5x you add the sum of the ages of man and son divided by 2 that gives you 40 that is the average so this is the average now you cross multiply 2 with 40 and 11x plus 5x is 16x is equal to 40 and x is equal to 80 by 16 and you see that x is 5 therefore the son ch is Uh, when you look at the problem, son's age is five times x, so five times x. So 
for 5 multiplied by 5 which is 25 years that is the age of the sun so when you look at the options uh, all the four options we see that we see that uh, option a seems to be the correct option which is 25 years okay okay now we move on to do the problem number 9 which is uh, which goes like this the question is uh, of the three numbers the second number is twice the first number and also uh, thrice the third number so if the average of three numbers is 44 what is the largest number so we are given three numbers the middle number is compared with the former and it is compared with the latter also the middle middle number is compared with both former as well as the latter so the middle number is or namely the second number is twice the first so let x y z be the three numbers so let us take the numbers to be x y z and what do we do is let x be the first number and y be the second number and what is the relationship between x and y y is nothing but two times x so which is marked in the pink color okay and uh, the second number namely y is is three times z where z is the third number where z is the third number so we are comparing uh, we are relating both the, the middle number with the first number as well as the last number which is uh, the relation is 2x is equal to y and y is equal to 3z now what do we do is we let us try to express everything in terms of x or in terms of any one variable that you like so uh, what i do is i keep x as it is and i am trying to write y in terms of x so y is equal to 2x and i am trying to write z in terms of x so z is equal to 2x by 3 z is equal to 2x by 3 so the, this is the key idea that we have to remember this this is the key step that we have to remember what is the key step this is the key step trying to write everything in one variable now i have a 3 in the denominator here so i do not want 3 in the denominator so what do i do is i multiply each ratio by each number by what 3 so when I multiply x by 3, I will get what? When I multiply x by 3, I will get 3x. When I multiply 2x by 3, I will get 6x. And when I multiply 2 by 3 times x by 3, I will get 2x. So the numbers are in the ratio. What ratio? The middle number is so the middle number is 6x. The first number is 3x, and uh, the last number is 2x. You now you can check. Uh, this is middle number is twice uh, the first number and thrice the third number. So now we are given that uh, the average of uh, these three numbers, the averages of these three numbers, namely 3x, 6x and 2x is given to be 44. So is given to be 44. So 3x plus 6x plus 2x divided by 3 is 44. So what do we do here is, uh, you when you add 6 plus 2, 8 plus 3, 11x is equal to 44 times, you cross multiply this 3 with the 44. So 44 times 3 and the x becomes what? 44 times 3 divided by 11 which is you can cancel out 11 and 44 4 times so 4 times 3 is 12 so one option x is equal to 12 uh, there is an option uh, a is given to be 12 but that is not the answer because we are asked to find out the largest number so what is the largest number of the three numbers when you look at the number this is 3x first number is 3x the second number is 6x and the third number is 2x the largest number is 6x so 6 times 12 will give you the answer so 72 72 is the largest number and the option corresponds to option corresponds to clearly we see that it is it corresponds to the option d option d is the correct option correct answer now we move on to do the problem number 10 uh, problem number 10 okay the problem is like this the question number 10 the average of the first five numbers is 58 the average of the first two numbers is 48.5 and the average of the last two numbers is 53.5. What is the third number? So we are given five numbers and we are asked to find out the uh, middle, middle most, middle number. Okay. But what are we given? We are given the average of the five numbers we are given. Not only that, uh, the average of the first two numbers and the average of the last two numbers, they are also given. So what do we do here is, the, now let us write down the average of five numbers is 58 now these are the five numbers now you when you look at look here uh, i have marked the numbers as dot dot this is the second number we do not know we are asked to find out only the third number this is x now we'll keep it as 
that keep the third number as x which is the middle number that we have to find and this is the fourth number and fifth number i have put dot for the other numbers except the middle number now what are we given now we are given that uh, the average of the first two numbers is 48.5 so average of the first two numbers is 48.5 now okay, sum divided by total number of observation therefore what is sum so we can find out the sum as we can find the sum as sum is equal to sum is equal to average multiplied by average multiplied by total number of observations total number of observations so when you multiply these two you will get sum that's what is happening here so we are given the average of the first two numbers to be uh, to 48.5 and the two numbers so num number of numbers multiplied by the average will get the total of the first two numbers similarly the sum of two last numbers the average of the last two numbers is 53.5 and the number of numbers is 2 when you multiply these two you will get what the sum of the last two numbers so this is sum of first two numbers this is middle number and sum of the last two numbers divided by number of numbers is 5 total number because this is sum of first two this is middle most third number and this is fourth and fifth so total number of numbers is 5 which is given to be average is given to be 58c we are given here so you, you you have we have found the average now what do we do is 97 plus 107 is 204 plus x and 5 times 58 is 2, 2, 290 cross multiply cross multiply 5 with 58 you will get 2 times 2, 2 290 now what is x? x is equal to when you, you take what 204 to the other side x is equal to 290 minus 204 which is 86 so the middle most number is 86 and the option corresponds to uh, clearly we see that the option corresponds to uh, clearly we see that the option corresponds to a option corresponds to a so a is the option okay thanks for watching